In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use one of the logical functions in Excel, the IF statement. And to demonstrate the use of IF, I'll use a simple grade book. Let's assume that we have this as a grade book. We have some students in the grade book. We have some things they're going to be graded on. We're going to have a total, an average. And then we also want Excel to bring back a letter grade based on the average. Uh, and maybe this is your grading scale. Uh, 90 to 100 is an A. 80 up to, but not including 90, is a B, and so forth. So how could you get Excel to bring back one of these grades based on your grading scale? That's a good application of a if statement, one of the Boolean functions in Excel. So let's see how we'd go about doing that. Uh, first, I'm going to add just some uh, sample data here to test our formulas to make sure that they're working properly. So for Emily, I'm just going to put 100 in each one of these items. Most of you know that for total, you can just use equals, sum, and then select the items that you want Excel to sum up. So there are the, I missed one, uh, it should all be through F2, E2 through F2. So E2 through F2 is 400. I can check it real quick here to see that that's working the way that it should. So that's good. For average, another really easy formula is just equals average. And then select the items you want averaged. So I'll select the same ones and hit enter. And there are my averages. I can test that to make sure that the average formula is working the way that it should. Once I'm happy that those are working, then I can go about putting in the if statement in order to test either average or total uh, in order to return a letter grade or anything else for that matter. So let's use average. Here's my grading scale. How would I go about putting a formula here to bring back one of these letter grades? Well, it's really simple with the if statement. There's lots of applications and this is just one of the simplest ways for me to sort of demonstrate it. So if you start off by going equals if uh, then if you select on Excel, it will show you the things that start with if, the functions or formulas that start with if. I'm just going to double click on if, and then it shows me how this formula is formatted. So for example, there's a logical test, there's a value if that test is true, and then there's a value if that test is false. So my logical test could be if H2 because my average that I'm testing for is in cell H2. So if H2 is greater than or equal to some value, in this case it would be 90. So that's our logical test. So now it says if this logical test is true, then what value do you want to return in cell I2? Well, the value I want to return is A, and then comma. So if H2 is equal to or greater than 90, an A will be placed here, and then this logical test will stop and nothing else will happen. But what if that happens to be false? That's what it's asking for here. Well, if it's false, then what I want to do is execute another if statement. So I would go if, open bracket, and I'm going to follow the exact same pattern. Logical test, if true, if false. So you see the pattern here. So in this case, I'm going to go if H2 is greater than or equal to 80, comma, then put a B there, comma, if false, then another if statement. So if, open bracket, H2 is greater than or equal to 70, comma, then put a C there. And all I'm doing here is just following along with the values, uh, the values of my grading scale comma. Well, what if that's false? Well, then I want one more if statement. I'll say if h2 is greater than or equal to 60, comma, then put a d, comma. And then what if this is false? Well, if this is false, I don't need to do any more if statements because I'm at the end of my grading scale. If this is false, then just bring back and F. And that's the end of my logical string. And then I need to put as many closing brackets as I have opening brackets. In this case it's four. One, two, three, four. 
and hit enter and now my formula should be here in the cell and if I've entered everything properly it should work and I could test it here again by going through and just changing values 92.5 is still an A and 84.5 is a B and so forth so I could go through here and change all my values uh, to hit all of these sort of cut points to make sure that it's working the way that I expect it to work and then if that's the case then I can take that formula and paint it on down to all my other students uh, so it's a pretty simple application of one of the boolean functions in Excel that a lot of people don't even realize exist but there are loads of these and they can be very useful in uh, doing all kinds of things in Excel so hopefully this has given you some ideas at least about how to use the if statement